New at five, safety concerns following a horrific crash that killed a mother and toddler in Kentucky. The question, how can you stay safe if you're forced to pull over on the side of a busy highway? 10 News reporter Arisha Jones joins us live in Roanoke with what you should do. Arisha. I spoke with Roanoke City Police this afternoon and I'm told when determining if to, to get out of your car or not is a case by case situation because every car accident and breakdown is different. A car breakdown turned deadly in Kentucky. It's devastating. Megan Ritter was injured and her four year old son Dawson was killed last week. A car crashed into their car while they were on the side of the interstate waiting for help. It was one of those events that, and it's one of those gut wrenching, like this is not gonna be good. Fatima Foster is the traffic safety officer for Roanoke City Police. If you're on the highway, look at where the lane positioning you are in, look to see how busy the road, the, the highway road is. But according to Foster, your car can also block your view if you're standing on the wrong side. If you are coming out of your car and you want to cross the road by standing here, you can see that there's another car coming. So you're like, okay, it's not safe for me to cross. Whereas opposed to if I'm standing in front of my own car, if you're trying to see, I'm like, well, I can't really see. There's obstructions, there's obstructions. Ooh, if a car's too close, they might clip you. There are times when staying in your car is also safer. If you stay in a car, you have airbags that protect you. You're obviously in a, in a very heavy um, car that has barriers. Foster says if there are kids in the car, it may be best to stay inside the car with your seatbelts on. If you don't have AAA, there is another way to get help if you are broken down or if you're in an accident on the side of the interstate. I'll tell you what that is coming up on 10 News at 6. Live in Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.